It's important when you first use Cashflow Manager Cloud that you check your settings are correct. The settings affect several areas of Cashflow Manager Cloud, including whether VAT and your bank details are properly applied to your invoices, so it pays to check these first. From the dashboard, click on the Settings tab. Your settings are arranged in an accordion style menu. The first accordion, Account List, is open when you first access settings. Listed here are the bank accounts that you established when you first registered for Cashflow Manager Cloud. You can use this area to add new accounts. You can also use this area to disable an existing account simply by removing the check mark. Disabling an account prevents any new entries from being made to that account, but leaves existing entries intact. You can always reactivate an account simply by rechecking its box. You cannot delete an account because you may have recorded transactions in that account, which you'll need to keep for reporting purposes. Let's add a credit card account to your cloud account. Click the Add New button. A dialog box appears. Enter a name for the account. You can call it whatever you wish. Then click the drop down arrow on the account type and select the type of account. In this case, select credit card. If you know your accountant's general ledger format, then select that, otherwise leave it blank. If you selected a general ledger format, the general ledger code automatically populates. Click on Save. A dialog box opens indicating that your new account has been created. Click on OK. To open other settings accordions, just click on the plus symbol to the right of each accordion. Next, we're going to check your business address. So click on the plus symbol on the business address accordion. The address you used when you signed up should already be present here. If it isn't, or if you wish to update the information, just type in the appropriate details. If your shipping address is the same as your postal address, just click on the Use Postal Address checkbox to populate the shipping address data. When you've finished, click Save. Once again, you get a pop-up dialog box informing you that the update has been successful. Click on OK. Now, let's look at the credit card section. The Edit Credit Card setting is where you enter credit card details for your monthly subscription payments. Unless you used a prepaid promotion code when you signed up for Cashflow Manager Cloud, you will have already entered this data. In any case, this area is blank. The reason it's blank is because we do not store your credit card information on our servers. The only time you'll need to use this area is if your prepaid plan expires and you wish to continue with a paid subscription or you wish to have your monthly subscription deducted from a different card, or if your credit card expires. When any of these things occur, you come to this section of the Cashflow Manager Cloud settings and enter the details of your credit card. If you don't remember to do this when a card expires and you receive a new one from the bank, your account will default when the payment is due and will send you a reminder to update your details. You don't need to do anything here now so click the plus symbol alongside credit terms and conditions. In this setting, you can allocate your business terms of payment. The terms you set here will be reported on invoices that you send to your customers. You can come back here and change at any time. For now, select whichever term of payment is most suitable for your business and click Save. A dialog box will pop up indicating that the credit terms have updated successfully. Click on OK. Now, Click on the plus symbol alongside general information. This is general information about your business. You can set the date that records start from and the financial year for your business. You can also set the time zone that your business operates in. On the right hand side, you can set your accountant and or bookkeeper if you have one. The referee code from whoever recommended you to Cashflow Manager Cloud. If you have one, it's important that you enter the referee code in the box provided and click Save alongside the code box. You had the opportunity to do this when signing up for Cashflow Manager Cloud, so it may already be complete. If you did set these items when you first signed up for Cashflow Manager Cloud, they will be greyed out. Please note that having your accountant, bookkeeper or both assigned here enables them to access your Cashflow Manager Cloud account and provide their services without you having to send them copies of your file. If at some stage you decide to change your accountant or bookkeeper, you simply disconnect them and then select your new accountant or bookkeeper from the list. 
If your accountant is not on the list, it just means they have not yet registered with Cashflow Manager Cloud. You can remind them next time you speak to them, but for now, just leave blank. When you've finished on this page, click Save. Click OK on the dialog box that pops up. Then let's move on to invoices. There are two invoice templates to choose from. Pick one from the drop down list. If you wish to include your remittance information on the invoice, click on the Yes button. Having done that, you need to put in your banking details for the accounts you want payments to be deposited in. If your business is registered for VAT and you usually charge VAT, then set to Inclusive. Finally, you can upload a company logo, which will appear on the invoice when emailed or printed. Having completed this section, click Save. When the dialog box pops up, click OK. Now we'll take a look at taxes. The VAT rates in this section defaults to the current VAT rates. If at some future time the VAT rates change, you can select the new rates here yourself. If you're registered for VAT and usually charge VAT, then click on Inclusive and make sure your VAT number is entered correctly. When finished, click on Save. Moving on to Users. If you're the only person in your business who accesses your business records, then this area will be blank and you don't need to do anything here. If you want to provide others with access to your accounts, this is where you add their details. Click on New and a dialog box opens. Enter the details for the user you're adding to your cloud account and then click Save. Cashflow Manager will now send off an email to the new user and they will be required to verify their account before they can access the system. When they've verified their account, they will appear in the user list. After you have finished entering new users, click Save. The final section in Settings is Training Wheel Settings. Training wheels are the green message boxes that appear at the top of pages, like this one on the Money In page. These training messages give you tips on how to enter data into Cashflow Manager Cloud. You can turn them off at any time by clicking on the X in the top right hand corner of the message. If you want to turn Training Wheels messages back on or off in any section of the site, you do that through the Settings Training Wheels Settings section of Cashflow Manager Cloud. When you finish making adjustments here, click on the Save button. That's it for the Settings section of Cashflow Manager Cloud. For more Cashflow Manager Cloud training settings, visit our support website at cashflowmanagercloud.co.uk support.